Irfan Habib born 1931, is an Indian historian of ancient and medieval India, following the approach of Marxist historiography. He is well known for his strong stance against Hindu and Islamic communalists. He has authored a number of books, including Agrarian System of Mughal India, 1556–1707. Early and personal life Irfan was born in an Indian Muslim family, the son of Muhammad Habib, a Marxist historian and ideologue belonging to the Communist Party of India Marxist, by his wife Sohaila Habib Irfan's paternal grandfather was Muhammad Nassim, a wealthy barrister and member of the Congress Party, and his maternal grandfather was Abbas Tayabji, sometime Chief Justice of the High Court of Baroda Princely State. Irfan's wife Sayara Habib was Professor of Economics at Aligarh Muslim University. The couple have three sons and a daughter. Academic <laughs> 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 After he returned from Oxford he joined AMU as a member of the faculty. He was Professor of History at Aligarh from 1969 to 91. He is presently appointed as Professor Emeritus at the Department of History of the AMU. He delivered the Radhakrishnan Lecture at Oxford in 1991. He is an elected corresponding fellow of the British Royal Historical Society since 1997. Habib has worked on the historical geography of ancient India, the history of Indian technology, medieval administrative and economic history, colonialism and its impact on India, and historiography. Amaya Kumar Bagchi describes Habib as one of the two most prominent Marxist historians of India today and at the same time, one of the greatest living Marxist historians of India between the 12th and 18th centuries. Positions He was coordinator, chairman of the Centre for Advanced Studies, AMU from 1975–77 and 1984–94. He was chairman of the Indian Council of Historical Research during 1986–90. He was the General Secretary, Sectional President, and then the General President of the Indian History Congress 1981. Topic philosophical and political views Habib identifies himself as a Marxist and uses Marxist historiography in his work. Habib has also written books about Vedas and Vedic age. He considers Vedas to be a good historical source, which describes transmission in a priestly culture, that valued faithfulness. He further lays out the reasons that the texts were orally transmitted for hundreds of years, then they were finally written down. Habib had a sustained commitment to secularism. He led the historians at the Indian History Congress of 1998 who moved a resolution against the saffronization of history. He has said that the BJP government at the center which was in power from 1998 to 2004, especially the MHRD minister himself, were responsible for inventing facts and dates to suit their interpretation of Indian history. To counter Irfan Habib, Murli Manohar Joshi released a book which rebuts the history of what the former minister calls Habib and Co. Honours Among the first six Jawaharlal Nehru Fellowships, 1968. Watamal Prize of American Historical Association, 1982. Jointly with Tapan Raychaudhuri. Padma Bhushan, 2005. Ibn Sina Memorial Lecture, 2009 Ibn Sina Academy of Medieval Medicine and Sciences. Yash Bharti, 2016. Topic: Selected publications. Books author at the Agrarian System of Mughal India, 1556 to 1707. First published in 1963 by Asia Publishing House. Second, extensively revised edition published in 1999 by Oxford University Press. An Atlas of the Mughal Empire, Political and Economic Maps with Detailed Notes, Bibliography, and Index. Oxford University Press, 1982 Essays in Indian History, Towards a Marxist Perception. Talika Books, 1995. The Economic History of Medieval India, A Survey. Talika Books, 2001. 
Medieval India, The Study of a Civilization, National Book Trust, 2008. People's History of India, Part 1, Prehistory. Aligarh Historian Society and Talika Books, 2001. People's History of India Part 2, The Indus Civilization. Aligarh Historian Society and Talika Books, 2002. A People's History of India Vol. 3, The Vedic Age, co-author Vijay Kumar Thakur Aligarh Historian Society and Talika Books, 2003. A People's History of India, Vol. 4, Mauryan India, co-author Vivekanand Jha Aligarh Historian Society and Talika Books, 2004. A People's History of India, Vol. 28, Indian Economy, 1858-1914. Aligarh Historian Society and Talika Books, 2006, Books Edited The Cambridge Economic History of India, Vol. 1, 1200-1750 Co-editor Tapan Raychaudhuri UNESCO History of Civilizations of Central Asia, Vol. 5, Development in Contrast, from the 16th to the mid-19th century. Co-editors Chariar Adil and K. M. Baikapov UNESCO History of Humanity, Vol. 4, from the 7th to the 16th century, with various co-editors. UNESCO History of Humanity, Vol. 5, from the 16th to the 18th century, with various co-editors. The Growth of Civilizations in India and Iran Sikh History from Persian Sources Akbar and His India India, Studies in the History of an Idea State and Diplomacy under Tipu Sultan Confronting Colonialism Medieval India 1A World to Win, Essays on the Communist Manifesto co-editors Ijaz Ahmed and Prakash Karat.